Hello YouTube. In this video, we're going to review the single Baumgarten's dual hole metal pencil sharpener, known as the MR2110. take a close look at this pencil sharpener here. Now, as you can see, it's got a metal body and it's likely, you know, like a magnesium type body. It's very light. It has these two blades and you can see that it has a small hole and a larger hole, which means that it will take multiple sizes of pencils, which would be a good thing uh, to have if you're dealing with these big round pencils like this Palomino Jumbo here or your standard pencil. You want to read the back it shows you the name of it right there Bomb Gardens 2110 Germany so it's another German made pencil sharpener so we're going to take a look at what kind of point that this pencil sharpener will provide. I'm just going to go ahead and use this Drewent pencil here. And we're going to use this first hole right there. Okay, that's a good thing. Now, as I continue to turn this pencil sharpener, one thing you're going to notice pretty quickly here is that it doesn't seem to stop sharpening. So these are this is one of those sharpeners that requires you to stop before you sharpen away the whole pencil. And which is basically what I've done so far with this one is I've now lost a good inch on this pencil. Let me go ahead and zoom out and let me grab another new pencil and you can see that I have pretty much eaten up because this was brand new this is brand new and look what I've done so one thing you need to be aware of is that as you're sharpening you need to stop and look and then sharpen stop and look until you get it the way you want. And here's the point. It is a standard point. It may look like, you know, a substantial type um, point on here. And it's not bad, but it's the pencil because the pencil core is very thick. Now, let me go ahead and use a regular pencil. I'll use this casemate from Walmart, your standard pencil. This is like the Apsara Platinum, but it is marketed through Casemate and Walmart here. And it's already got a very nice long point on it. At least it did. I just tore it off. So now let's see again what kind of point we're going to get with this sharpener. And remember, once you start seeing the graphite being um, shaven off here, you need to stop. So I'm going to stop here and check, and it's finished. Okay, so take a look at the point. See, so now you can see that it is just a regular old point. There's, it's not a long point sharpener by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a whole hum little tiny point Ooh. you know so for myself not impressive it's just a regular point and uh if you compare it to a long point see same size pencil 
but this one was sharpened on a long point sharpener like the Q Masterpiece or the Helix A5 or the Carl's or one of those or the you know the big triple or the Q long point gives you this long point which I prefer but anyway that's that's a comparison for you right there mm-hmm <laughs> yeah little dinky point all right we won't uh, we won't make fun of its size any longer here we'll move on so the real benefit in my opinion so it's just opinion is that for this sharpener here is to be able to use the large size so that you would be able to accommodate these larger pencils and this is the point that I got using the big size and you can see that it is it is the same as the small size you know the small side here except now you can sharpen the bigger pencils and if you recall a previous um, review that I did on I have this M and R here you can see that it accommodates the big pencils too and the smaller pencil and it uses two sides here basically I'm pretty well covered as far as sharpening big pencils so it is another pencil sharpener that I'll just kind of put off to the side unless I you know it's the closest one when I need to sharpen a big one but it will prove to be a useful pencil sharpener when sharpening the oversized pencils in my opinion but as far as regular size, you know, regular pencils, uh, you know, I would just rather use a long point sharpener. But that again is a personal preference. Okay, well, that's the review. I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And leave comments below. You know that I answer many of them. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.